illegally bought at least two guns within the last week. And Orlando police say he was armed with an assault rifle and handgun when he started shooting inside the nightclub. Take a look at this timeline of events. While we don't know exactly what time Mateen entered the nightclub carrying the two guns, police report the first shots were fired around 2 o'clock this morning. And a police officer working security at the club engaged the suspect. Shortly after, the nightclub alerted customers to what was happening, posting an urgent message on Facebook saying, quote, everyone get out of pulse and keep running. Witnesses described the chaotic scene. We were standing outside a club and all you hear is gunshots. All you hear is gunshots. Like, I don't understand. Like, Police say between 2 and 5 a.m., several 911 calls were made to police, and people started using Twitter to ask police for help. You can see in this video from the scene victims covered in blood, being carried away and helped by other bystanders and first responders. I didn't know what to do. I wiped all the blood off in the grass because it was wet. My shirt soaked between sweat and blood. I don't know what's behind me. It's under my nails. And Police say after Mateen was confronted by the officer working at the nightclub, the officer and Mateen started shooting at each other. Then police say Mateen went back into the club and continued firing on the crowd. Police say the man then took about 30 hostages. One of those hostages reached out to his mother for help. He was texting me and called me. What did he tell you exactly? That the shooter has them in the women's bathroom hostage and he's going to die. People started showing up to the scene looking for family and friends who were at the club during the shooting. It was chaotic. Listen to this mother's emotional reaction when she couldn't get in touch with her son. But I don't know where my son is. No one can tell me where my son is. If he's been shot, if he's dead, if no one knows. But they told me there are fatalities. We texted him, called him, and he has, he's not answering the phone. But he was sitting right next to his boyfriend, and his boyfriend definitely was shot with multiple gunshots and taken in the ambulance. After the hostages were taken, the SWAT team and Orlando police entered the nightclub to rescue the hostages. Police say at least 14 law enforcement officers exchanged gunfire with the shooter. About three hours after Mateen entered the club and opened fire, he was killed. Pulse Nightclub is located in Orlando. It's about a 20-minute drive from Disney. News Force Jen Shantz flew to Orlando this morning and has the latest from the scene. Jen? Well, Callan, Orange Street is blocked off a little bit more than a half mile before Pulse Nightclub, but you don't have to go far to find people showing solidarity during this time of tragedy. A group of people who frequent the club say it was a place to go and be yourself. For them, this attack wasn't just on the club or on Orlando, but on their family. Several held signs of support showing their Orlando strong. This group has been out here all day. They came the moment they heard the tragic news that 50 people inside one of their favorite places lost their lives. Some are still searching for friends or hoping to get a phone call from the hospital that a loved one made it. President Obama addressed the nation today. He said, quote, in the face of hate and violence, we will love one another, which is frankly pretty evident if you're here at the corner of Orange and Michigan streets in Orlando. Coming up tonight on News 4 at 10, meet a young man who was inside Pulse nightclub at the time of the shooting, how he got out, and who he's still looking to find. Reporting from Orlando, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 6.